Hello loves and welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to be talking about healing um, the womb uh, and your sacral space with crystal wands. It's going to be an interesting video. Uh, one of the things that we said we we're going to cover was, you know, womb health and womb healing and removing blockages from your sacral space. Uh, so that's what we're going to be talking about today. Um, I'm doing a series also on healing um, and specifically healing your sacral space um, and different ways to do that. So today we're going to be covering crystal wands, um, which is something that I do uh, regularly just to maintain the health of my womb. So we're going to be talking about that today. Um, <coughs> But before I get started, I just wanted to take a moment to say thank you to all of the new um, subscribers, the Patreon members, the channel members, everybody who's just been on this journey with me. Um, I just want to say thank you for supporting the channel and for being here and for all for everything that you guys just do for me. Um, it's just it's been amazing to be able to just get to do this work with you guys and there's going to be daily videos now so i'm really excited to just get to connect with you guys on a daily um also just quickly make sure that you are you go to my website and subscribe to my newsletter if you want to stay up to date with things that are happening um because i'm going to be doing blog posts i'm going to be doing um new episodes of the podcast between ascension lots of things that we're going to be covering and um also discounts on um like my services as well as like products and stuff like that so definitely make sure that you stay um, on the subscribers list um so make sure you go on my website the link will be down below and you can do all that stuff and get subscribed um because i know sometimes it's not always um you know when i put stuff in the community tab sometimes it doesn't always show up on everybody's page so uh, definitely make sure that you stay connected now with that being said we are going to be talking about crystal wands okay crystal wands now i have a i have quite a bit of crystal wands we're just i'm just going to be showing you guys a few of them today um these i specifically bought from chakra i am going to put the link down below <laughs> it's so funny like holding these like just go down here <laughs> for the link but i'm going to be putting um the links of these down below um now First of all, you're not going to see the links of this one. I'll, I'm just going to link the website, but you're they don't sell the Blue Adventuring one anymore. This one one of my favorite ones. It's so amazing. Um, but when it comes to, let's just start from the beginning because I feel like we're already getting too forward. Um, when it comes to crystal wands, the reason, first of all, the reason why I, this is also not sponsored. I can't stress that enough. I did not get sponsored by Chakra for saying this, but there's a reason why I'm going to be communi communicating the way I am about crystal wands so crystal wands can get a little pricey because you're getting like a good amount of crystal but it's also the way that they're polished um now when it comes to chakra specifically they are very meticulous at, in getting this um as smooth as humanly possible because if it's not smooth and if it has like cuts and stuff like that you you can obviously the nether regions i mean this is also a massage wand so you could use it like in other parts of the body but in the sensitive area of the nether region it can create cuts so it's important like if you're going to be using a crystal wand you can't just use any regular old wand if you've been watching like my crystal like un unboxings you know that i got this one from moonlight and sage recently but i wouldn't i'm not using that for this i'm using specifically this one with offset um within some spell work that i'm doing um but if you see at the top like right here i don't know if it's gonna focus but right here it has like little like cracks on it so i can't use this for that um you have to make sure that if you're sourcing a crystal wand to do sacral healing specifically that you are you know that they're smoothing it out correctly and it's i know it's like an investment because these tend to be a little pricey um but it it helps to just have them be really smooth and i have not had any problems they're smooth as hell i haven't seen any cracks and you can go like through all like all of the sides because they also go over it um one of the other things about chakra i'm gonna put their etsy page on um down below as well because they also sell like 
like lower price ones the ones that they don't feel like are they pass their quality test when it comes to smoothness and a lot of people in the comments be like oh i didn't see anything wrong with it uh, so it could be like a minor thing but they'd be looking under like at these with like a telescope and stuff like looking to see if there's going to be any cuts because they don't want anybody to have like a bad experience and then something happens down there so yes i have a couple of them i have a black obsidian one um this is the blue adventurine which th it, the thing, the great thing about like crystal wands is that you're also getting to use their properties while you are doing what you need to do. Um, so Blue Adventurine is what this one was the first one I got from them. Um, I wanted to get the rose quartz first, but that, this was around the time that I was doing a lot of heart healing and I didn't feel comfortable enough with rose quartz. I ended up buying this way after. Um, so I got the Blue Adventurine first because Blue Adventurine is great for balancing out your hormonal levels. Um, and it also, it has so many different benefits, <laughs> um, but it's great for unblocking and releasing, helping you release energy um, and blocked energy specifically. Um, and it's just like, energetically wise, using this in like, sensual ritual sacral rituals it's just amazing this one is actually my favorite one um but i do love my rose quartz one as well once i had healed my heart chakra um it became a lot easier for me to use this one um this one definitely helps me um uh, move out and release emotional trapped energy within my womb um and just kind of clear out and cleanse out any pent-up energies there the reason why crystal wands are amazing for for womb healing is because you're able to use their properties while you are also doing technically a whole last ritual because even if you're just using it as a massage wand in like anywhere else in your body which you can absolutely do you can also use these in rituals to you know <clears throat> like specifically um you can use them to consecrate different things you can use them to um like specifically tether yourself to the spell or tether the the wand to the you can do so many different things um you can use these for with crystal grids app to activate them and we're going to be make, talking more about crystal grids and making videos on that so stay tuned for those videos um but you can use these wands outside of sacral chakra work and heart healing um you can use these in so many different ways because they're still a crystal this is just a crystal it's just in a wand shape right um and so i like to put this like sometimes i'll be meditating and i'll just put it right on my heart and i'll lay it right there and i'll just go through and do a meditation um sometimes i will sleep with these too so sometimes like even if i'm not using it in like a massaging kind of way um i will just put it right above right underneath um kind of the top of, of my underwear right beneath my belly um where like my underwear is like the top part and I'll just sleep with it just like that. Even if I'm turning, it doesn't really bother me because it's not super long. It's not like a ruler or something really long. Um, it just stays kind of in the middle. I will sleep with this sometimes. If I'm doing some, some energy work or releasing work, I would sleep with these babies. I do it all of the time. Um, but when it comes to energy work, it is amazing because it works very very i don't want to say subtly because each one has a different way um in which it affects and it, it really goes with the crystal properties rose quartz is very very like soft with the way that it works um while you're doing sensual work um this one if the, the blue adventure has like a little bit of a ah uh, the energy is very it almost helps you amplify it helps you amplify um, what you already have and it kind of just helps you give it gives you that little push to release um so I really love this one I'm kind of sad that they discontinued it but there is one that I saw recently on their page um that I'm thinking I'm going to get soon because yeah I wish that they would do a carnelian one or a garnet one oh my god because those two are my favorite crystals for sacral chakra healing period just period like here we in it a carnelian wand what that that would be like my moon cycle one literally that would be my moon cycle one i would just literally have it on like all of the time um but when it comes to working with these you want to look at the properties um you can use this in meditation in different ways but you can obviously sleep with it you can hold you can just do while you're doing meditations you can put it right 
you know, right underneath your belly. Um, you can meditate with the heart chakra one right on your heart as well. The heart chakra one is also great for releasing emotional energy that has been sent down from the heart to the womb, um, which is also great. Um, but there's like so many different ways that you can kind of incorporate these. I also like to charge these um in different ways so i don't put them in salt or anything like that i don't want them to ha have little scratches or anything like that um because you also look to have to look at the hardness of the crystals um and you can't just like you know not everything is a diamond so uh, at the hardness of a diamond so you can't just throw it in like scratchy places but i like to put this on like my plant um specifically my um birds of paradise i will charge it there because it's a big pot so i'll just put it in there and i will recharge it um also when you are climaxing with it you are technically recharging it as well um because you are feeding it it's connected to your energy as well so keep that in mind you i don't always like cleanse these in a like I, you can smoke cleanse them as well but i prefer grounding them with my birds of paradise my plant so i'll just have them charged there and just call it a day um i also put these in my own personal altar my self love like my personal altar um to charge sometimes and I'll, i also one of the other things that i do is that if i don't want to use it in any of the physical ways i will put it underneath my pillow um and just sleep with it that way as well like i will stick it in my pillowcase and i will work with it that way as well um and i will do this when i'm sleeping so there's like a ton of different ways of working with crystal wands not only in spell work but to clear off the womb um you could even hold it in your hands and you would close your eyes you can get into like you want to lay down or you want to like you know be in half lotus or full lotus pose you can cr like cross your legs or just lay back and then just start to connect the tip of the wand like i'm gonna do it up here so you can kind of see but you would be doing this lower down obviously to your womb area and you would just start clockwise removing okay just pulling things out and just picturing that connected to the specific energy point that you're trying to work with and then just see it as almost like a fishing line okay so you could just like go like this and start rotating it out okay and you're closing your eyes you're envisioning it and then you're going to start pulling out any energy that's blocking amazing amazing for energy healing there's so many different types of exercises that you can do with your crystal wand that can help you do a lot of just unblocking and healing yourself um uh, but that's just some of the ways that i use them if you want me to make a video specifically of like maybe like a specific meditation that you can do where we do that exercise together um just let me know in the comments and then you know i'll work on it since we're doing daily videos now you guys are gonna get all of the abby tips and all of the things but these are just so 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 amazing for womb healing and they have helped me so much in healing my heart as well because again these are connected these are still working up here but they're also working down there um in a really really big way so they're great even for massages like you could just go, like go in especially get on the back part and just like massage your back and stuff oh my god like your shoulder blade right in that arch what especially because your back is something that unless you're like getting reiki done a lot of people you know they'll put the crystals up here but they, they won't you know put them back here because they can't get to it you can't it's harder to meditate when you're like turned over unless you're getting professionally done right so it's like it's it can be a thing where it's like if you have a partner or something it's like hey can you just like rub right there and just like really quickly just connect to the crystal and do that meditation i'm telling you i love these i have been using especially my rose quartz one recently with the whole overturn of the thing um just because the energy has been a mess and it's helped me release so so much just in a matter of like an hour like it just helps me release so much um and just on a daily basis i use it in multi-dimensional ways so don't sleep on these get yourself a crystal wand but just make sure like whatever company that you're doing i understand like chakra is like it's white woman owned um but she has a vision for her company like she was like no i want high quality crystals i want them to be polished i don't want people to get scratched up in their mm, area and then i get sued about something it like there's a lot of different vendors from around the world that makes different wands but they don't 
put their intention on the quality um and so things can be made very half-assed so just be very careful because i don't want y'all to be like okay but abby this one is like 50 bucks so i'm gonna get the 50 bucks one but then you end up getting scratched on there i don't want to hear it i don't i told you what i do it is this is an investment they sell the thicker one too but i i like the slim ones um this is an investment it's just it is an investment it is what it is um i have the black obsidian one too um it's just in my I, I was trying to find it but it's, it's, it's in my walk-in closet somewhere um the black obsidian one is great for removing negative energies from your listen oh my god help me so much that was like the third one that i got from chakras amazing amazing um but highly recommend that's the company that i personally go to um i haven't found any other ones that go through the rigorous process of making sure that they're not scratched up as hell and like you know because we got we got to treat it like a temple down there i i just i'm not gonna have fast that stuff so i'm just letting you guys know that's just me that's just me i'm just letting you guys know what i would do but it is an investment they pricey i got the slim ones this one um they, i know they have like a 10 percent off coupon on the website again this is video is not sponsored but i know i i popped up when i went to the website recently so you can probably get like a cute 10 15 dollars off because they'd be like the slim ones are like 130 125 um the thick ones be like 200 something because they they a thick piece they have the amethyst one i kind of want to get the amethyst one we're just venting now abby's just telling you her wish list but i kind of want to i've been wanting to get the amethyst one but there's one i saw recently that i can't remember which one it was um i'm gonna look it up right now and i'm gonna tell you what you guys which one it is hold on i found it it was smoky quartz they have a smoky quartz one now both slim and the thick one listen smoky quartz if you've been following me for a minute you know that i am obsessed with smoky quartz for releasing negative energy so getting the smoky quartz one will clear that up real quick because let me tell you smoky quartz absorbs negative energy which means that it can literally absorb stuff that's blocking you in your womb yo i'm getting the smoky cord sides i don't care you cannot stop me but the blue adventuring one holds a very special place in my heart because this is my first one and she is amazing i she is amazing she is she is amazing she's amazing she has a reputation for multiple o's too not oh not just for me i'm talking about like when she, the, she was being sold on the site like everybody was like this one is my favorite one amazing absolutely my favorite but um and this one just has a very like soft kind of feel like very rose quartzy you guys know how rose quartz feels but yeah that's what i would recommend um i will leave all the links down below including to their etsy because again they put discounted discounted ones on their website on the etsy specifically that they're not going to sell in their main page because maybe it has like a scratch up here or something like that and they don't feel comfortable like selling that for the full price that they usually charge so you can usually catch like a good deal um so yeah i will put that in the description down below but i hope that this video was helpful let me know if you want me to give you some like sp like specific ways that i used my the crystal wands in other parts of my practice but this is how i use it sacred wise um and i usually make it a whole entire ritual um when i do um you can like literally romanticize it you can use it with a partner I do that all the time too um there's like different ways to kind of incorporate it into your own practice but because of especially when it comes to sensual toys and stuff like that um the way that i see it is like okay yeah you can get like a vibrator and all that stuff and yeah you know we have that stuff right but this has a purpose when it comes to doing both two it's taking two things out of the list it's helping you clear and, and like release energy it's healing you and you're still getting to the thing that you want to get to so it has multiple you know uses multiple multiple things okay um but yeah so i will leave all the things down below for you guys i hope that you guys enjoyed this video um stay tuned for the womb healing meditation we're gonna do that but i wanted to put this video up first because you can totally do that meditation while you use this as well anyway i love you guys so much i will see you in the next one thank you for being here um have a blessed night bye